Hi, my name is Brian Starkloff from Financial Systems and Technology, and today I'm going to be telling you about the Stratus Chart of Account Redesign. The foundation for all financial tracking and analysis is the Chart of Accounts. The Stratus Chart of Accounts, formerly known as the PeopleSoft Chart of Accounts, has been redesigned to provide a simpler user experience with more intuitive data reporting and analysis. Users will now have access to tools and dashboards making it easier to track and manage budgets. While the redesigned chart of accounts has some new features, many current features remain the same. Let's take a look at both what's changing and what remains the same. The chart of accounts is a group of segment values that are used to track and record financial transactions and to use financial as well as budgetary planning and control systems. The chart of accounts impacts all employees, departments, vendors, and anyone who processes financial transactions impacting TU. The chart of accounts is important to all users to ensure proper accounting and budgeting occurs across the university. So let's discuss some features of the new chart of accounts. Take note that the project team collaborated with many divisional budget officers and budget managers across Towson University to develop a new chart of accounts structure that is simple, data-driven, yet also familiar. Let's compare the current PeopleSoft chart of accounts to the new Stratus chart of account. The current PeopleSoft chart of account is represented in the gray boxes. The fund, department ID, account, and initiative should be familiar to most. We will come back to the project ID later. The new Stratus chart of account is represented in the orange boxes. You'll notice a direct correlation of the four-digit PeopleSoft fund to the four-digit Stratus source, the five-digit PeopleSoft Department ID to the five-digit Stratus Cost Center, the six-digit PeopleSoft account to the six-digit Stratus account, and the five-digit PeopleSoft initiatives to the five-digit Stratus initiatives. We have a new three-digit segment in Stratus similar in use to initiative called University Objective, which allows you to track revenue and expenses by university-wide strategic plans and goals. The future and inner fund segments, while part of the chart of accounts, will not impact the campus. Take note that while the PeopleSoft department ID is equated to the new cost center, the new cost center segment allows the tracking of revenues and expenses at the lowest levels within a department. Our new reporting hierarchy structures, which you will see shortly, allow you to roll these cost center dollars up to the highest levels within the university and everywhere in between, including at the department level. No longer should departments need to spend time tracking costs within a separate shadow system. Some divisional budget officers have taken advantage of this new feature of the COA and requested the addition of many new cost centers within their division and departments. So now that we've provided a bit of comparison highlighting some of the changes, let's talk a minute about what's not changing. The following provides a comparison of the PeopleSoft Chart of Accounts terminology to the Stratus Chart of Accounts terminology. In addition, the chart provides the purpose for each segment and a description of the impact to the current PeopleSoft values. As I mentioned, in most cases the current five-digit department ID is not changing and will become the five-digit cost center. Our six-digit accounts are not changing, so 609003 Office Supplies in PeopleSoft will still be 609003 in Stratus. You also still have access to the same five-digit initiative values to further track and summarize activities, but you will now be able to use them with both revenue and expenses. Lastly, while most department ID, account, and initiative values will remain the same, most of the values for the current four-digit PeopleSoft fund, which is equated to the four-digit source, will be changing. Take note that one of the biggest changes is to grants, contracts, and projects. The PeopleSoft project ID used today will not be part of the Stratus chart of accounts. A new system will be utilized to track all grants and projects. As such, there will be a separate account string that is still being developed that will be used to track and post transactions related to grants contracts, so stay tuned. As stated earlier, the Stratus chart of accounts provides new organizational roll-ups to division, subdivision, operating unit, and department group. Note the operating unit and department group are new features for Stratus. A sampling of the Stratus chart of accounts hierarchies and crosswalk is provided here for review. The PeopleSoft crosswalk mapping sample depicts the alignment of the PeopleSoft department ID to the Stratus cost center. 
Likewise, the people solved fun to the stratus source. Notice the stratus values going vertically on the left and the alignment to the people soft values vertically on the right. Here you can see the new stratus operating unit and department group features drills down to a more finite accounting tracking process. As we mentioned earlier, this will allow departments to roll their revenues and expenses up to the highest level within the university and everywhere in between. No longer should departments need to track costs within the departments in the shadow systems. Please remember, this information is presented at a high level for awareness purposes only. Detailed information will be presented during Stratus training, scheduled for August and September. We appreciate your participation and look forward to your active involvement as we implement the new Stratus financial system. Should you have any questions, please visit our Stratus website. Thanks for watching.